A close watch is maintained in places where large numbers of people congregate. It is here that the life hazard is greatest. Hospitals and sanitariums housing bedridden and invalid persons are inspected regularly. And safety campaigns are year-round procedure in our schools. Life-saving devices are useless if they fail to operate in an emergency. And poorly maintained auxiliary firefighting appliances are worse than useless. As a breeder of fire, poor housekeeping is one of the worst offenders. Failure to cooperate in correcting such conditions may result in prosecution. Fires after 10 a.m. and faulty incinerators are also a fire prevention problem. For many years, captains of firefighting companies have made routine building inspections to acquaint themselves with conditions that might affect firefighting operations. Now, two-way radio makes it possible for entire companies to spread the gospel of fire prevention in their own district. Should fire occur while they are engaged in this work, the fire dispatcher may contact them immediately since one man always remains within hearing distance of the radio. This program calls for personal contact with each and every homeowner to explain the common hazards responsible for most home fires and to make sure regulations governing these hazards are thoroughly understood. To further aid this educational work, the general public is reached by direct mail, by newspaper releases, and frequent radio broadcasts. Beyond this point, the fire department must rely on public cooperation. The fight against fire is a never-ending fight. Each year, thousands of lives are sacrificed and millions of dollars worth of property go up in smoke. The tragedy is that most fires are preventable, that human carelessness accounts for most of them. Preventing fire is everyone's job, but the control and extinguishing of fires once started is the responsibility of the fire department. To this end, modern apparatus and equipment play an important part when manned by efficient, well-trained crews. A fireman's job is a hazardous one, a job of teamwork and preparedness. He must be ready at any moment of the day or night to come to your aid when fire or disaster strikes. By the simple expedient of dialing 116 on your telephone, or by breaking the glass and pulling the hook on a street fire alarm box, the fire protective resources of your fire department are at your service. But remember, report all fires promptly, for unless you do, how can we help you?